Send in blue versus campaign monitor. Now this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about these tools, including the pricing, the features, my thoughts on both of these tools and all of that good stuff. So if you are thinking about picking up one of these email marketing tools or potentially switching from one to the other, then this video should be able to lead you in the right direction as to which one is better for you. Okay, so jumping right into this, the first thing that I want to say is both of these email marketing tools are relatively similar in terms of what they actually do. So you can see that what both of these are at the core are drag and drop email marketing templates. You can see that this is send in blue, you get your template, drag and drop things that you want in. Campaign monitor, you get your template, drag and drop things that you want in. Now, as you can probably see from here, I will say that Campaign Monitor has slightly better user interface. Like you can see just from the screenshots that they show and basically how the website feels, the Campaign Monitor does feel slightly better, slightly more modern and slightly more up to date. A little bit more premium, if you will. Now, another cool thing about both of these email marketing tools is that they both offer SMS marketing. So look, SMS marketing here, SMS marketing. And uh, I would say that this is relatively rare for a email marketing tool to offer this. Like usually you get an email marketing software and it is just email marketing. It is not SMS. And that is why, as I say, both of these tools are similar. They are drag and drop email marketing autoresponders that also offer SMS. Now, of course, they have a few nuances here and there. Like some of the features are slightly different. The user interface feels slightly different but overall like the backbone of the software is basically the same so the main thing or the main difference between these two softwares comes down to the pricing now mm, can i change this into dollars apparently not okay <laughs> fantastic uh, i will go add this to pound then so this is in pounds but this is just for a comparison so you can see which is cheaper and you will be able to get a general idea in dollars for what they are worth so first of all can you get a free trial with either of these softwares well campaign monitor says try for free in this top corner however it doesn't really tell us how long we can get for free or how long this free trial lasts so that is a little bit annoying whereas on send in blue you can see that the free trial zero dollars a month you can have unlimited contacts as many contacts as you like and you can also send 300 emails per day on this free account now if you want to send more than 300 emails a day that is when you have to upgrade but i do have to say that just for the fact they are more open and tell us more about the free trial send in blue is better for the free trial but who really cares right the, the free trial is such a tiny factor in what this is about so that doesn't really matter does it now the second thing is which one do you want to go with starter business or enterprise now i would say go with the starter because it's got basically everything you need email campaigns drag and drop editor it's got the deal it's got the no daily sending limit and basically everything you need so that is what i would go for with send in blue and then with campaign monitor you can either go with basic or unlimited depending on how many emails you want to send now with basic you get like a certain amount of emails that you can send each month that goes up with how many subscribers you have and then with unlimited uh, you get basically unlimited emails that you can send each month now because of the way that send in blue is priced in that you pay for how many emails you send per month um let's go with the basic version and compare these plans so let's say we want to send 20,000 emails per month let's move this up um okay so 25,000 can we actually do this? No. Um, let's just go here. Okay, so let's say 20,000 emails per month. With Campaign Monitor, if you want to send 25,000 emails per month, you will be spending £49. Now, the reason that this is uh, on 25,000 and not 20 is because I literally just, I can't get it to 20. But we can still see which is cheaper. So Campaign Monitor, 25,000 emails, £49 per month. Send in blue. 20,000 emails is £16 per month. So it is so, so much cheaper. If we just move this up a little bit more and say um, 40,000 emails per month, mm, we can only get this to 50 and we can't do the same here. But either way, send in blue £25 a month for 40,000 emails. Campaign monitor almost £80 a month for 50,000 emails. So yeah, it is quite obvious which is going to be cheaper here. And uh, 
Let's finally try out 100,000 emails. The funny thing is, you can send 100,000 emails on Send in Blue for £50 a month, whereas you can send 75,000 emails, so even less. So you can send less emails on Campaign Monitor for a higher price. So it is crazy, for over double the price even. That is so crazy how expensive Campaign Monitor is in comparison to Send in Blue. So just as a quick recap guys, as I said, Campaign Monitor does have a slightly better software. It has slightly better templates and overall it feels nicer to use than Send in Blue. Now it's not a crazy difference, it is only slight, but it is there. But is it worth paying like double the price to use Campaign Monitor? Not at all. For the price of Send in Blue, I would absolutely choose this email marketing software because it is very nicely priced in comparison to Campaign Monitor, which is very overpriced in my opinion. So that is Send in Blue versus Campaign Monitor. Now, if you learned something from this video or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.